Hello everyone, welcome back to ASFC Physics. What we're going to be looking at today is an experiment that you can do in the lab to actually determine one of the basic quantity in quantum mechanics, i.e. Planck's constant. So using nothing but electrical equipment and some LEDs, we're going to be able to determine the value of Planck's constant. Now here's the equipment which we're going to be using. We're going to have a power supply. Don't really need a lot of voltage for this experiment. We're going to have a variable resistor. We're also going to need multiple LEDs and those need to be of known wavelengths. So I'm just going to add that, add that in. So um, we actually will be, so these are of known wavelengths. And we're going to need a few of those to uh, get quite a few readings. We're also going to need a voltmeter, like so. And notice that in series to the LED, I've added a little safety resistor. Now, something really, really important. This experiment will not work if the LED is not pointing the right way around. Remember, the LEDs need to point out from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. We can see that this LED over here is correctly positioned in the circuit which we have. If it was turned the other way around, the circuit will just not start. So this is something that we need to be aware of. Okay, well, what is our method going to be? So uh, let me just write that down. So method assuming that we've set up the circuit as shown correctly the first thing that we'll need to do would be to adjust the variable resistor so that the LED only just lights up in practice in order to get the precise voltage at which the LED lights up we're going to need a dark room to be able to spot that precise moment and additionally we could use a cylinder to look into that will completely block out other uh, light interferences okay now for our second point would be to uh, record the wavelength of the LED so we have that as a known wavelength and the actual voltage so i'm just going to make a little note over here that we need to record the what is really is the threshold voltage or the potential difference across the led and its wavelength So the potential difference across the LED and its wavelength. Like so. Finally, we are going to repeat the above for a number of different LEDs of different wavelengths and hence different colors. So we're going to repeat the experiment for multiple LEDs. Now our table of results is actually going to look like this. We're going to plot the potential difference uh, V, which is measured in volts. Additionally, we're going to um, record the wavelength in meters and we're also going to record one over the wavelength in units of m to the power of minus one. Now you may be wondering why do we need to record one over the wavelength and um, let's have a look at the analysis of this experiment which will hopefully make this very very clear. Okay, folks, now just to summarize, we have the following experiment in which we have a power supply uh, connected to a variable resistor, then we have a little safety resistor and an LED. We're going to be physically adjusting the variable resistor just until the LED um, starts producing 
photons and as soon as it does that we're going to be recording the potential difference across it. We're also going to be recording the corresponding wavelength of the LED. In practice our table of results is going to look like so. We're going to have the potential difference in volts and we're going to have the corresponding wavelength in meters. Now it will also be incredibly useful to um, actually have in our table of results 1 over the wavelength. The reason for that is because our final step for, so let me just write that down, will be to plot a graph of the potential difference V against 1 over lambda. So let me just write this down. So plot a graph of the potential difference across the LED against 1 over the wavelength. In practice, our graph will look something like this. It will hopefully be a straight line and it will probably be going through quite close to the actual origin. Now, why have we plotted a graph of V against 1 over lambda? Let's have a look. Well, in this experiment, what we actually have is a conversion of electrical energy against or to photon energy. In other words, every time the LED produces a photon, electrical energy is being directly converted to the energy of a photon. The electrical energy is given by charge times potential difference, or EV, and the photon energy is given by HC over lambda. Now, we, what we can do is just rearrange the above equation for the potential difference, and what we're going to get that is that the potential difference is equal to HC over E, and rather than um, sort of writing lambda underneath here, what I'm going to do is just write it down as times 1 over lambda. Mathematically, it's exactly the same as if I just had hc over e times lambda. And also what I'm going to do is write plus 0. Now, if we have a graph of v against 1 over lambda, well, if that's the case, we could use linear analysis. So what I'm going to do is just underneath, right over here, that y is equal to mx plus c. Now, um, we can see that v is on the y-axis, like so. We also can see that 1 over lambda is on the x-axis. We can also see that c is zero, no pun intended, sort of. And what's left for our gradient, I'm going to use my rainbow pen for this, is hc over e. So what I'm going to do is just write that down over here on the side, that hc over E is equal to our gradient M. And I'm using my rainbow pen because this is really, really important. We can directly rearrange for Planck's constant in this case, because this is going to equal the gradient of our graph times the charge of an electron divided by the speed of light. Remember, E is just a constant, C is just a constant, and M is the gradient of our graph. So using the following method, we can absolutely find Planck's constant using this experiment. In fact, this will be our final step um, in, this, uh, in this experiment. So because this is the final and most important step, let's use my rainbow pen once again that uh, Planck's constant h is, let's make sure we get the expression right, me divided by c. So the gradient times the electron charge divided by c, where this guy over here is the gradient of our 
graph. Okay folks, so just to summarize, we have the following circuit over here. We're adjusting the variable resistor so that the LED only just lights up. Then we record a potential difference and its wavelength. We repeat the experiment for multiple LEDs. We plot a graph of V against 1 over lambda. And we, using Y equals MX plus C analysis, we can actually determine a value for Planck's constant. Uh, just please be aware that in order to improve the accuracy and precision of this experiment, we need to repeat the, that experiment or we need to perform this experiment in a dark room and we will often use a cylinder positioned around the LED that we can look into and catch that precise moment that the LED is lighting up. Okay, folks, so hopefully that makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below.